Did he break the skin? What did you do to me? What is happening to you right now is called the first change. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Paradise List. Today we're counting down the best Supernatural TV series part 2. Let's get started. Do you know me? Do you know me? Number 10. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Ash vs. Evil Dead is an American comedy horror television series developed by Sam Raimi, Ivan Raimi, and Tom Speziali for the Stars Network. The series is set approximately 30 years after the first three Evil Dead films and serves as a sequel to that trilogy. Ash Williams works at the value stop as a simple stock boy. Also working at the store is his friend Pablo and the object of Pablo's affections, Kelly. Ash has seemingly done very little with his life since returning from 1300 AD at the end of Army of Darkness and the beginning of the series sees him living in a trailer and drinking alone in bars. However, Ash must soon renounce his routine existence and become a hero once more by taking up arms and facing the titular evil dead. Pablo and Kelly decide to join him on his quest to save humanity. April 2018, the series was cancelled after three seasons. Number 9. Charmed. I feel so lucky to be the mother of two special young women, special in such different ways. Always remember that. Charmed is an American fantasy drama television series developed by Jenny Snyder Ehrman, Jessica O'Toole, and Amy Rardin. It is a reboot of the WB series of the same name, created by Constance M. Burge. Three sisters discover that they are descendants of a line of female witches and that they are destined to fight against the forces of evil using their combined power of witchcraft. CW renewed the series for a third season, which premiered in 2021. This is crazy. I am not a witch. I don't even like wearing witch costumes on Halloween. Like, not even slutty ones. Number 8. The Secret Circle. Hello? I got a flat. Well, I'm coming. I know how to change a tire, Mom. Mom? Hello? The Secret Circle is an American supernatural fantasy teen drama television series. It is based on the book series of the same name written by L.J. Smith. Following the death of her mother in a tragic fire, orphan high schooler Cassie Blake moves to Chance Harbor, Washington, to live with her grandmother. Her attempts to adjust to the new town are crushed when five of her classmates, Adam Conant, Diana Mead, Faye Chamberlain, Melissa Glazer, and Nick Armstrong, reveal to Cassie that she comes from a long line of witches and is the final member of their coven. With her, they are able to unlock the full extent of their powers. Initially, Cassie refuses to believe that she is a witch, even after Adam helps her to unlock her powers. It is only after she discovers an old leather-bound book of spells left to her by her late mother, Amelia, that Cassie begins to accept her power. Inside the book is a message to Cassie explaining that she kept their real family history and her powers a secret in order to keep her safe. As the circle soon finds out, their powers attract dark and dangerous forces that constantly puts them in harm's way. The series premiered on The CW in September 2011. Oh, for God's sake, spit it out! You're a witch. You're a full-blooded, 100% witch. We all are. Number 7. Preacher. Preacher is an American television series developed by Sam Catlin, Evan Goldberg, and Seth Rogen for AMC. Jesse Custer is a hard-drinking, chain-smoking preacher who, enduring a crisis of faith, becomes infused with extraordinary power. He embarks on a quest to better understand his new gift and literally find God, alongside his trigger-happy ex-girlfriend, Tulip, and new vampire friend, Cassidy. The series was renewed for a fourth and final season, which premiered in August 2019. We're gonna kick his ass. Number 6. Grimm. Grimm is an American fantasy police procedural drama television series created by Stephen Carpenter and Jim Koof and David Greenwald and produced by Universal Television for NBC. 
Nick Burkhardt is a Portland, Oregon homicide detective with a strange secret. He's a descendant of an elite group of hunters who are charged with stopping the proliferation of supernatural creatures in the world. The Brothers Grimm wrote fairy tales that children have adored for generations, but imagine if their villains were real, and Nick was the only one who could stop them. The sixth and final season of Grimm premiered in January 2017. Number 5. Hemlock Grove. I didn't. Hemlock Grove is an American horror streaming television series, produced by Eli Roth, and developed by Brian McGreevy and Lee Shipman. The atmospheric series adapted by Eli Roth and writer Brian McGreevy from McGreevy's horror novel of the same name, opens its first season with 17-year-old Gypsy Peter Romancek coming under suspicion for a grisly death shortly after he and his mother arrive in the once thriving Pennsylvania steel town of Hemlock Grove. That's due primarily to the musings of young Christina, a wanted novelist who spreads a rumor that he's a werewolf after she observes him outside of his trailer home. The sign of the region's richest family befriends Peter. And, after another slaying, they join forces to find a real killer. Roman also deals with an eccentric, demanding mother, a freakish but sweet sister, and a cousin who believes an angel impregnated her. And, as the season progresses, the town sheriff is aided with his investigation into the deaths by a Department of Wildlife agent. Netflix renewed it for a third and final 10-episode season, which premiered in October 2015. Number 4. Bitten. Did he break the skin? Oh, yes, you did. Bitten is a Canadian television series based on the Women of the Otherworld series of books by author Kelly Armstrong. The first series of Bitten finds Elena Michaels, the world's only female werewolf, torn between the idyllic life she has made for herself as a photographer with a loving boyfriend in Toronto and the wolf pack she has kept her distance from for more than a year. She returns to her canine family in upstate New York to help them deal with the threat and comes to discover that they are being targeted by a group of killer mutts. While back in the fold, Elaine is overwhelmed with conflicting feelings of passion and distrust for Clay Danvers, an ex-lover and pack enforcer who changed her in the first place. Bitten third and final season finished in April 2016. Well then you're gonna have a blast with me. <laughs> Number 3. Being Human. Being Human is a supernatural horror comedy drama television series based on the BBC series of the same name. The first series of Being Human finds werewolf Josh and vampire Aiden becoming roommates who rent a house that turns out to be haunted by a ghost named Sally. All three quickly become fast friends. Each has personal issues, Sally wants revenge on the person who killed her, Aiden has to deal with the guy who turned him into a bloodsucker centuries before as well as accidentally murdering a woman he was dating, and Josh impregnates his girlfriend Nora. The show aired its first episode in January 2011. It came to a close in April 2014. Number 2. Outcast. Do you know me? Do you know me? Outcast is an American horror drama television series based on the comics of the same name by Robert Kirkman and Paul Azaceta. At the beginning of season one of the drama series, Kyle Barnes, a man who has been possessed by demons all his life, offers his help to Reverend Anderson in trying to help a young boy who is starting to show signs of possession himself. As Kyle keeps working with the Reverend trying to help people affected by demonic possession, he discovers some secrets about his past that might shed some light on his strange experiences. Meanwhile, Anderson is convinced evil forces are trying to take over Earth and is preparing for a holy war. The first season debuted on Cinemax in June 2016. October 2018, it was announced that Cinemax had officially cancelled the series. Number 1. Salem. Isaac Walton. Ah! Committed to sin. Self-pollution. Salem is an American supernatural horror television series created by Brennan Braga and Adam Simon, loosely inspired by the real Salem witch trials in the 17th century. Season 1 opens in 1685 with Captain John Alden returning from war to discover that his Puritan community has become gripped with mass hysteria 
and that his former lover Mary is now married to the wealthy village elder George Sibley. What he doesn't know is that when he left seven years ago, Mary pregnant with his child turned to Tituba, a skilled practitioner of the magical arts, to rid her of the unborn baby. In the time that followed, Mary has become the most powerful witch in Salem and is using panic and paranoia to her advantage while fending off threats of being deposed by Magistrate Hale. But her lingering feelings for John put them both at risk as he enters into an alliance with Rev. Cotton Mather, who when he isn't engaging in activities of ill repute, has been defending the people of town against witchcraft. The series premiered on WGN America in April 2014, becoming the network's first original scripted series. And WGN had cancelled the show after three seasons, with the final episode airing in January 2017.